Now, let's go to the starting 11, because yes, Herc almost nailed it. We thought Chucky Lozano might have a chance to start. We thought Julian Quinones also had a shot. What do you make of that decision? Because basically the rest is what we expected, Herc. But Julian Quinones was, I want to say, a surprise as a starter. Well, it's a surprise not by form. It's a surprise by name. And what I mean by that, this yeah. is a massive decision for Jimmy Lozano, a new coach, a young coach, to sit the darling of the fan base because Chucky Lozano since 2018 has really been the darling of the fan base. Sit him and, and big somebody, ovation when he came on. Put somebody like Julian Quinones on who, who, who you think could be effective and, and was effective. Julian Quinones today, uh, he was strong when he needed to be strong. He was a force down the left hand side. He got the vital goal. He gives you this is so important with Julian Quinones. He gives you effort on both sides of the ball. He, he really is a, a total player, in my opinion. And he took advantage of his opportunity, his first goal for the national team. This was one of the biggest decisions, for sure. But it's also something, Mal, that the U.S. national team has been used to. Kind of a, a dual national that chooses right. another guy. Well, not it's, common it, it's not common yeah. in Mexico. Yeah. And so... You know, I love the fact that it's it's a little controversial. That maybe there's a lot of, you know, Mexican national team fans that wait a minute, he's Colombian, he's not Mexican, or oh, whatever. Sure, for sure, that exists. Yeah, and so, but you say, look, this guy has a Mexican passport, and he is going to help us win games, and he helped Mexico win a game today. Now, tough luck for Julian Araujo. Yes. Mexico already very limited in the right back position. Julian Araujo gets injured. We'll hear more about his status tomorrow with uh, from Jimmy Lozano. Uh, but going back to, to Julian Quinones, how big of a factor is the fact that he plays with Henry Martin? The guy who assisted Julian Quinones for his goal was Henry right. Martin. They played together in yeah, Club America, well, and they've been playing together really well lately. That's that's the uh, one of the one of the player connections for America that's been very successful in their season um, last year and this season. So it, it's natural that they would be comfortable with each other and play off of each other is what we saw. And I think that's what Jimmy Lozano is betting on. Listen, Henry Martin comes on. We've not mentioned, and he didn't come onto the game. Santiago Jimenez. Yeah, that's how impressive Jimmy Lozano's game plan was. That's how impressive the result was for Mexico today that the hottest player they have right. in Santiago Jimenez who's going to command a massive transfer fee in the summer. Some of the biggest leagues in the world, biggest clubs in the world, we've not mentioned Santi Jimenez. And what do we know? We know about the history of the tension of being the Mexico national team manager. Right. That you're always one bad seat. result away. Right. And so sometimes you have to make difficult decisions. You have to have the... I guess the ability to say, to, 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 to turn off the noise and say, you know what, if I'm going down, I'm going down with decisions that yeah, I think are going to help me go forward. Yeah. So made a couple tough decisions. They paid off. And he survives another day. <laughs> and, and I know we already touched on Memo Choa's performance, but that was another tough decision. Absolutely. Right? Because uh, that time's Fox, coming sooner rather Fox than later. Fox Popoli was, yes. hey, it's time, Memo. Go to the bench, be a mentor. It's Angel Malagón's time right now. What happens in the second half? Memo Choa says again, no, no, no. This is Memo yeah. Choa. This is 120 caps. Uh, yes and no. Uh, it, Memo Choa does say that absolutely. He had a great game. But what's going on right here, it's Jimmy Lozano saying, listen, my most important performance doesn't have to be in Copa America or the World Cup. It has to be tonight or I may not get to Copa America or the World Cup. So who can, in my eyes, help me go there? Memo Choa, will it be the best thing for the Mexican national team going forward? Probably not, but tonight it was. But also what it does is it gives you that equity. Memo has a lot of equity with the fans, with the press, with right. everything. I can only make so many difficult decisions and right. so many decisions that maybe somebody's going to question. Let's keep one of those kind of off the books now because we know sooner than later... It's going to have to happen. Right. Time is undefeated. Ahead. It's going to, yeah. it's going to it's catch up to Memo. It's catching up to Memo. But today wasn't that day. Um, before I ask you who you thought was men of the match for the U.S. against Jamaica, I'm not going to ask you. I'm going to tell you who men of the match was and the, <laughs> the other match, Mexico against Panama. And to me, it was Edson Alvarez right now. 
He is Mexico's best player. He plays in the Premier League. He's a regular starter for West Ham United, not only because of the goal that he scored. We've been talking about here the lack of leadership yeah. in this group. Yeah. If there's one leader in this team, that's Edson Alvarez. He, and, and he came through in the clutch. Let me tell you why this was an important um, performance for Edson Alvarez. Do you, do you agree with me, by the way? That he was a yeah. man, yes. man of the match. I, I think so. I think yeah. the goal, his play in midfield, but more than anything, it's Edson Alvarez this week came under fire. Edson Alvarez this week gave an interview that came out in where he was with Burro Van Ranking for Caliente mm -hmm. TV, and he stated that the game versus Poland, he played in the World Cup. The next game against Argentina, Tata Martino acted like he didn't even know him, like he'd never seen him play, and he didn't play. He didn't start, he didn't play. Mexico lost. And it was insinuated, not by Edson, but by the interviewer in that interview. El Burro. El Burro Van Rankin, yes. <laughs> that Tata threw the game. Now, for anybody to believe that Tata Martino threw a game yeah. is ridiculous and yeah. dumb, but Edson came under fire for it. So to have this type of performance on the back of something so ludicrous by the Mexican press speaks to his mentality and that leadership that you speak of. We talked about his, his development now mm. that he plays for West Ham United in, in, and in the Premier League. He was a very good player at Ajax. What do you see from Edson Alvarez in recent form? What's, what's the next thing uh, of that progression? What you're, what you're going to get when you go to the Premier League is a different level of physicality from the striker. Yeah. Now, in, in Holland, yeah, there's going to be the quick guys. There's going to be that. But you're not going to have the six-foot-three striker that is going to physically... Yeah. Dominate, challenge, you, challenge yeah. you and everything. And when you're able to kind of combine the ability to kind of play, score the odd goal on set pieces on the attacking side, but then also be very good physically, defensively in the air. Because we all talk about, yes, Mexico and the U.S. are going to be strong in CONCACAF. But then how do you match up against a big Dutch striker? How do you match up against an English striker right. or a German striker or somebody to get you over that next hurdle? Now, when you're playing against those guys week in and week out, when you've started in Mexico, went to the Dutch League, now went to the Premier League, and you've seen that yeah. progression, I think it's going to be massively important for Mexico going forward to have those players challenging themselves against that next level player. Yeah, well, uh, we have zero doubts about who's going to start in that number, how do you call it, six position? It's a six We, we, yeah. we call it el cinco, yeah. five. five. But yeah, that's the number six, Edson Alvarez. Great game by, well, he doesn't like the nickname, but I love it, Tlane Pantlas Beckenbauer, and I know you love it as well. <laughs> now, let's talk about Gini Lozano on the fire during this week. Herc, does he need the victory against the U.S.? to secure his position as Mexico's manager all the way to 2026? No, he doesn't need it, but it would help. It would help immensely. Uh, I think Jimmy Lozano right now making it to the final, which is something that Diego Coca last year didn't do, uh, that he took over for Diego Coca. So making it to that final would be his second final with the Mexican national team in his second tournament. First one was a gold cup. Mm -hmm. They ended up beating Panama 1-0 on that one, lifted a trophy. Now he's in another final, this one against the United States men's national team, a team that they've not beaten since 2019. Javier Has Hernandez. Has it been that long? In New Jersey. You know. Javier, Javier, you know. Javier Hernandez. El Chicharito <laughs> Hernandez's last goal with the Mexican national team was that day, that game in 2019 in New Jersey. They've not beaten that's the like, U.S. That's like goalkeeper memory he has there. <laughs> yeah. What? I gave up a bad yeah, goal? Yeah, what? Yeah. Never, never heard of such but, a thing. But what I'm trying to say is people remember that. <laughs> yes, people, correct. People, people in Mexico, the press in Mexico, they know how that feels. Big games it's a are massive remembered game. massively. So, so if he can have a good performance, and a good performance doesn't mean you win. A good performance just means you put the people, the press of Mexico, back where they think they belong in their play. You can now, you die can play standing. badly and win, and that will help. Yes. That's fine. Yeah. That, that's that's totally fine, fine, too. But they just can't have a situation where they just get dominated. it looks like their football yes, is less. Correct. I feel, because when we were talking about this on Tuesday, I said, yes, there is a chance that Jimmy Lozano is not Mexico's manager in the summer for Copa America. I think this was a very good performance, and I feel that the tough decisions that he had to make, starting Memochoa, starting Julián Quiñones, 
not even giving a well, minute to they, Santa Jimenez. And they both worked. Not starting yeah, Chucky Lozano. And they, they, all of that all They all worked so that's, today. So that's, that's validation. Yeah. But I agree. So what happened with Diego Coca? Why was Diego Coca fired? Not only because he lost against the are, U.S., are you but because that was... analyze Mexico's hirings and firings? Well, you don't Case, have, the history is very clear. It's history complete is very schizophrenia. Clear. And We're going to make just decisions because of whatever feel, reason. Because we talk about the power that club owners have in this decision. And I feel there's a group of club owners that still want to have the control of the Mexican national team. And they have that through naming the manager. And no club owner named Jimmy Lozano. Right. You know that really well. Right. So I still feel that he has to win and he has to be kind of convincing because, because the other side right. of the media will say, right. listen, this is, this is a U.S. men's national team that needed an own goal right. by Jamaica. But that didn't matter. That won't matter. That won't matter. That won't matter. But I, I, I feel like these decisions that he made validate his work, not only for the players. The players love Jimmy Lozano. They like him. That's, that's, that's not a problem. Right. But also to the outside world, I think this game validates a lot of what he does. It'll give him that credit for sure. But that credit could be easily erased with a bad performance. Now, if you're asking me if Jimmy Lozano's team is going to have a bad performance, that is different. Mm -hmm. I, I think Jimmy Lozano earned a lot of credit in the outside world, but more importantly, inside. I think his players have a belief about them today. Let's take a look at Jimmy Lozano's numbers when he's facing elimination games. Let's remember he was also the manager of the Olympic team that won the bronze medal of the 2020 Olympics played in 2021. That's not a bad record for Jimmy Lozano. He advanced in PKs on a 2-2 aggregate against Honduras. By the way, with Angel Malagón having a stellar performance.